welcome back to Station Ears. <laughs> All right. Well, I normally try to avoid starting things up at night and doing a whole lot of stuff at night because, well, it's hard to see and so on. But, first up, the atmosphere in this uh, room here is holding pretty good at 97% CO2, 3% oxygen, and negligible amounts of N2 and X. And that's great. It's working. The thermostat is working. The temperature stays between 20 and 30 degrees C, which is great, which means I've got some stuff planted. And I can leave it planted until I actually need to harvest or have an opportunity to, like, you know, if I spend a day out mining or something. And uh, what I need to do now, I'm going to have to redo this pipe thing, by the way. Using this section of three sections of pipe as a tank basically for the airlock is a decent idea. But I've noticed that uh, every time you repressurize the airlock, which means taking the air out of that pipe, it doesn't take all of it. And it means every time you repressurize the pipe, it uh, you know, every time you suck the air out of the room and stuff it in the pipe. There's a little more in there. And sooner or later, and granted, it'll take a while, but sooner or later that pipe is going to end up bursting unless something is done. So I need to work out a way to have the pipe feed back into that room through a passive vent. And that will be a better way to go. Anyway, I need to do something about area power controllers. Because... Uh, some folks pointed out correctly that the way I've got the batteries hooked up right now is not the best. And I need some area power controllers, along with some heavy cable, to fix that. And for that, I'm going to need solder, which is lead and iron. And let me just turn this off and stuff it in there. And actually, I need, let's see, this one, I believe... Yeah. And I need to split off. This is why I'm doing this at night, because the, the ice is volatile and stuff. So, split off. Split one twice. And then split off one oxide. And I can put this away. All right, pop this stuff in there. Make sure the valve here is closed. There. Didn't want to take it away from me. Okay, get this in there, and now I get my 50 iron, 50 lead. And I had, I had to look that up because I would have expected solder to be made of like lead and uh, silver, you know, lead and tin or lead and silver. So much for what I know. So get the lead in there. Add the iron. One hundred solder and go. All right, good. And that is because I needed solder in order. Pop that in here. The solder was part of the uh, power controller. Oh, I forgot they recently added searching to this thing. Kit power controller, iron, copper, and solder. Oh, for crying out loud, come on. I 
steel in that one. Iron and copper. Not a whole lot of iron in there. I'm going to have to smelt up more of that as well. All right, area power controller. If I make up a couple of those. Then I can do something like, for example, put this whole uh, airlock and what you call it, uh, greenhouse thing on their own isolated circuit. So let's see. Yeah, that'll work right there. Oh, that reminds me, I might be able to do better batteries now, too. Battery cell large and small. What happened to the nuclear? I know there's a nuclear battery in this thing someplace. Because I believe it used, uh, okay, it's not in here. It used to be. Oh, for crying out loud, they had to go and change something like that. No, they're not in there. Nope, not in there. Don't leave the machines on. Okay. Huh. I don't suppose it would be in here. No, of course it wouldn't, because that's a pipe bender, and I'm talking about a battery. Okay, anyway... Well, if nothing else, battery cell large, steel, of course. All right. I can go ahead and make two of those anyway. And pop them in the area controllers. I have one for uh, the whole greenhouse area. And that way, that setup stuff will all be isolated. Just the thing about the power controllers, they I, they limit power because they're rated for like, I think it's 5,000 watts or something close to that. And actually, oh, I hate getting stuck on this stupid stuff. All right. All right. Pop that there. 
Come on. I don't know what it is with my mouse wheel and not scrolling properly. Get this hooked up. Cable junction. Face it the right way. Aimed at the right piece. There. Now everything in there is powered off of this. Yes, I know my wiring is pathetic. Maybe I'll get around to fixing it someday. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> Seriously, though, I will try to get around to getting my wiring fixed and looking better. But right now, I'm only concerned that it works. And now all of this stuff is isolated. And what I should do, really, is get some heavy cable made and run heavy cable from the battery to the controllers. And uh, that's going to be a better way of a better practice overall. And maybe this controller, given that I should do that bit with the heavy, that controller should be over here rather than all the way over there. Say here, perhaps. So, see, I believe it's the drill. Oh, shut up with your hunger caution. There. Alright, now oh, wait a minute. Well, now there's something. I'll need to power that off of that line over there so that it's not running off of the thing that... Because this line is now going to be powering the uh, filters. All right. So, if I just put that there, that's the right direction. Get the battery. Turn it on. And everything's good here. This one's down to 2%, and I've got a couple of spares over here. The oxygen, I've got spares, so on. Everything else seems to be okay. Most of these I've gone ahead and put two filters in, so that if one gets used up, I'm good. And yes, I finally got this annoying thing out of there because I, I got sick of tripping over it. Okay. Uh, 
I do have some iron available. How about that? And actually, you know something else I need to do? This thing. I really need to put that into a, a room with a active vent sucking air in out of the room into the input circuit over there because this thing when you process things in it well like iron or pretty much just about everything at copper it uh, lets out gases and I want to capture those so I'll have to build a, a uh, arc furnace room at some point sometime hopefully soonish Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we have this thing here, and our pipe, oh, yeah, I need to open that valve, let this stuff go into the pipe, Ooh, turn that off. I don't want... Uh, I didn't want to send hot gases in there. But I guess... Uh, the cooling things... The, the cooling radiators seem to be doing the trick there. Not quite as fast as all that. I should have made sure that this was closed. before I open this one. But, yeah. Of course, another thing I can do with gases. Is I could... They split off a couple of these. Oh, come on. Split off one of those. And then make sure that that is closed. And then get this stuff in the furnace. Activate it. Furnace comes on, builds up a lot of pressure and temperature. While I run over here and grab one of these and change the suit battery out. Going through it a lot because I'm leaving the thing on. The light. Alright, now we've got whole bunch of stuff on here and really hot that's turned off 3.2 kilopascals in there and the temperature is nice and low turn this on and yeah great and now this time when the temperature goes down I go ahead and open that valve and run this and uh, let that stuff get sucked into the filter systems. And great, lots more gases to work with. And there would be even more if uh, I had the arc furnace in an airtight room you know, so that the gases it collects or produces will uh, be available. Yeah, 106 kPa and uh, yeah, okay. 
the temperature 130 it's going down quickly now so once the temperature gets down to something reasonable I go ahead and open that valve it gets sucked in there open this up and that stuff gets pulled out pretty quickly and yeah I didn't let the temperature get all the way down but having some of the gas a little bit heated will compensate for the fact that uh, well I don't want super ice cold gas going in there if it's just like room temperature that would be cool well not cool it would be such that I don't have to have uh, worries about super cold air going into the room and it then having to be heated up or having the chance of oh crapola disc I have to reset this up don't I hello oh I had to power off all that time that's not good all right Okay, this one, I'm going to just leave the cover closed. It's turned on, it needs to stay turned on. All right, let's see if there's been any damage in here. Because with no power into this area at all, and no power in the airlock means no power in the rest of it, the temperature in here could have gotten oh it is but as soon as the circuit realized it bang cooler is on temperatures coming down and no damage has been done to the plants yet because I think they can actually handle up to like 40 C or something like that which is another reason to have the thermostat kicked cooling on 10 degrees before that all right I don't suppose I actually did a whole heck of a lot but it's been one of those weeks what can I tell you and I am going to work on there's two things I want to work on between episodes and that is getting stuff rearranged a little bit so that I can expand this room that way one block out there to have just a little more room in here and then uh, to build another room to be a containment for the arc furnace so that the gases that get uh, let off of ores and whatnot when it processes them can be captured and I, I will work on uh, getting the nuts and bolts of that done in between episodes and we'll see what happens next after that thanks for watching take it easy i am out of here